Welcome to another episode of Bubba's Tango 18. I'm Bubba and this is The Build. We've got a few things that came in this week to get us set up for the next steps of our build. One is the fiberglass cloth, the, the biaxial uh, 1208 um, that we've ordered for the stern of the boat. That's here. We're gonna do that probably tomorrow, Saturday. And also, what just came in the mail is this, right? Chia. Let's see what it is. So guessing from where we are, hey, this is my only workbench. I already opened up the packaging, but. Oh! Six inch spring cleat. It's gonna go right here. It's gonna look just like that. So that's another thing we're gonna get working on. So we're probably gonna do this. I'm gonna work on this today. Uh, getting a template going using that, the backer plate, and and then we'll get going on the stern tomorrow, like I said. So, a few things going on right now, but thanks for watching, like and subscribe. So the first thing we gotta do is find a piece of wood. Got my scrap pile here, behind here. Don't fall down. That's the first step. I C8. I gotta see what C8 is. Hmm. Got lots of scraps. I only want to use Okume. How about that piece right there? That might work well. We'll cover this whole thing. Can lay this piece on top of this piece and trace out and make sure we have enough enough uh, surface area get a piece that goes all the way side to side but you know this actually might not work too bad for what it is it comes down to gluing sand it up before I glue it to the underside make sure it comes out nice let's make sure it fits then we'll put the template on it then we'll sand it then we'll see how it uh, how it looks. We don't need our heater going today. It's supposed to be really nice. Probably the last nice weekend that we've got around here. 70 degrees today. I think that was unexpected. this out a little bit, see how much material we have on all sides. Not too bad, we could probably slide it over a little bit. And that's not where I'm cutting it. That's just, just double checking to see that I have enough material on the sides, equal spacing. So that when we put this on here and we glue it up. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna cut off the excess. Throw a little sand on it. We cut off a little bit up here. Seemed like it fit. This is a, uh, fit relatively nicely up here. You know, just more surface area. You know, probably won't hurt. And well, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is actually putting some, uh, wood underneath, gluing some wood under here so that when we screw our toe rail down it actually has something to bite into besides just this. All right, jigsaw, power, safety glasses, jigsaw. Mm. Just gonna freehand this a little bit. Ok. 
Okay, there we go. Got some good gluing area all the way around. I might scribe into the wood a little bit. So when I hit the hit it with the sander. I'm gonna need to buy some more of these Velcro sanding discs. They are the bomb. Get them all day on eBay for nothing, next to nothing. can work on our template. It doesn't have to be precise here, just when I glue it underneath it does. But I'm going to make it as best as I can. Because that's only logical. Shift workbench. I've got an inch and eighth paddle bit. Should do nice for these ends, and then we can take our we can take our jigsaw and finish up the inside. And I'm going to grab. There we go. It's a seven sixteenths seven sixteenths drill bit. Biggins. Alright, here we go.
got our piece, got our piece with our holes cut out. There it is. Let's see? Oh, there's my problem. I didn't think I needed to cut the center piece out. I was like, oh, this fits in great. Until you get to the sti stiffening uh, piece right here in the middle. All right, let's pop the jigsaw. All right, that was way too much work, so I just did it off camera. So let's see how this bad boy fits in here now. All right. Looks pretty good, huh? And then we'll assemble it. Do a light assembly. And uh, see how it looks in place. I'm going to do a lot more work before I glue that up. So this is all just preliminary, but do some more sanding. Okume is buying cabinet great wood, so. So, alright, you get the gist of it. I'm not gonna leave it on there, but. So that's what it's gonna look like. So that's the look we're going for. Recessed cleat. It's already flush, it's already de a deck flush cleat, but we're rece recessing it just to keep, you know. Any lines that go across or feet, you know, any of that type of stuff um, from catching. And uh, just, I think it makes a nice clean look. I don't know if I saw this anywhere or if I just imagined it, but uh, I'm thinking I like the look. And then when you shellac this, and that's what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use some of that toll boat gleam on here. Shellac this. I think I might want to radius this edge a little more, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks with the... Uh, with everything, so that's further down the road, but this is a, a look into my uh, thought process of, uh, of what I wanna do.